hi everyone. In this video, we will see how we went from this music video to this stylized version. So let's start directly into Mago. We will create a new project and we will drag our video directly into Mago. It's only taking a few seconds and it directly appears at the top of our timeline. In this video, we will use Mago V3, which is our latest model and the most stable. We will start by creating our stylized image directly into Mago because we have integrated an image to image workflow. When we open it, we have two options, the Mago workflow in which we can a reference image or the context workflow focusing only on a simple prompt. For the video, we will use the Mago option and we start by adding our style reference image. Then we can write the prompt and to do so, we can use the image description to take relevant elements, or we can also make it much more simple. For example, I will only go with colorful drawing style. Then you have the advanced parameters. I will put the image weight much stronger because I want it to look really like my style reference, and I will decrease a bit the CFG. We also have the control nets uh, to leverage how we want the model to understand our input image. Once we're done, let's hit generate. You can see that the generated image directly appear at the top right. We can create several images in the meantime if we want to iterate fast. For example, here I can add one more thing in the prompt and also hit generate and it will be in the queue as we can see. Now I have my first reference image. It's looking quite good in terms of what I wanted. Let's just wait a bit for the second image to see if it's better. So we have it now and it looks quite the same. If I wanted something really different, I would have to go in the advanced tab and change some settings or complete a lot more of my prompt. Let's use this first frame. We will click use this and it's loading as the style reference. We are now in the settings of our video. Let's create the prompt for the video this time not the image. We can use the automatic video description and the image descriptions. I will not touch the negative uh, prompt. Let's go to the advanced tab so we can see that we are using the V3 model. Currently in Mago you have also the option to use the V2.5 which is a less stable model in terms of the stylized result you will have. <laughs> but for this video, we will use the first ring V3. I will increase a bit the steps to get a sharper result. I will not use interpolation. You can use it to get faster renders. We can keep CFG like this. I will increase a bit the color match, strength, as well as the context. In the control net tab, you can choose between four different ones for our FU3 model, and you can see the small text explaining their different uses. Here, we will keep using the depth one. Let's increase a bit the resolution of the output, and let's enable the face mesh because our input video is a close up of a face singing, and it will have a better lip sync. Now, let's launch a test for 24 frames to see how it looks. We're ready with our first render. Let's see how it looks. So I will use Shift S to easily hide the parameter window. Let's see the first render we have. We can compare it to the original input video by holding Control and left click. We only have 24 frames, but it looks really accurate. And we can compare our video. So side by side and not image by image. Now let's just duplicate our track. So we can either click here or click Shift D as the shortcut to create another track. This new track is directly based on this one so it has the same settings and we can use to iterate by changing a few settings or the control nets or it's very useful to build step-by-step -step something better and closer to what you look for. As I like the, the first version I got, I will just increase the range 
for example, put 100 and we see the range increasing, know that you can go up to 1,800 frames now in Mago. Let's generate this new render and we will see directly the final results.